Welcome back. Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates was just named one of the eight men who combined possess more wealth than half the world's population. Last week, I sat down with him for a wide-ranging interview. We talked Donald Trump, the responsibilities of social media companies. But first, Gates told me about his Gates Foundation new global initiative to prevent epidemics. A number of the countries and foundations are coming together uh, to look at making vaccines in advance of an epidemic uh, so that we can have platforms that are very quick to make new vaccines and so we're far more ready than we were when the Ebola epidemic hit and so that's a, a big contribution. It's a response to the fact that the vaccine didn't get done for Ebola until after the epidemic was gone. Yeah, and when we think about Ebola or even the Zika uh, virus, that, uh, of course, it was a huge surprise. We learned that preparedness was really so critical as it relates to uh, stopping the spread. How will this uh, program stop that and help in terms of the preparedness? Talk to us about what this is in terms of a public-private partnership. How is it going to be put together? What's being announced is uh, 460 million that'll be given out in grants for specific uh, pathogens that there's concern about, but the focus will be on using an approach that even if it's a new uh, disease, we could make a vaccine um, more rapidly. So the good news is that science has these RNA, DNA type vaccines that you might literally in a period of months be able to create something new instead of the many years that it takes now. Let me ask you about the new day that we're in. Uh, what are you expecting from the Trump administration in terms of its impact on the economy, in terms of its impact on global health? Well, I don't have a, a crystal ball. Uh, obviously, you know, we've got new people, uh, the opportunity to talk about U.S. leadership, what's gone on where the U.S. Uh, supported the Global Fund, it supported uh, the Gabi Fund for Vaccines, you know, how we continue uh, that type of outreach and how it helps our security that we're helping those countries both be healthy and be stable. Uh, there'll, there'll be some great conversations and, you know, hopefully some ideas about new investments that can be made here. Look, here we are on the eve of the inauguration, Bill, and we're looking at a completely new approach to so many of the most important issues that, that the world faces. We've got business people coming in, running government agencies. What do you think? Is this going to work? You know, the, the U.S. government... Uh, is, plays a super important role in the world. Uh, it's been a great partner of ours uh, in the, the foundation work. Um, the Bush administration was a very good partner. That's where Global Fund got started. The Obama administration carried it forward and uh, uh, stepped up during Ebola. Uh, so, you know, we're uh, excited to reach out and, and see what this next chapter can look like. Uh, you know, our commitment to global health is going to stay steady, uh, you know, for the, for the rest of our lives.